How's it going, everyone? We're here to check out the Twitch drops in game. And uh, yeah, so those will start a little bit later today. And uh, the link uh, for the website is down below, as well as a workshop link if you just want to check out the skins. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to kind of take a look see at them. And then at the end of this video, I'll have like kind of a how to or answering for questions uh, for people who might not have done this before or just need a refresher. So yeah, that'll be at the end of the video. So we actually are going to go ahead and start with our generic drops. We've got two of them. Our first one right here is a bear rug and it's a, it's a very handsome bear rug. It is wearing a very dapper cap and uh yeah this is real offs uh <laughs> so there we go this is going to be uh one of the two drops each will take you three hours to unlock and by generic drop if you don't know what that means uh it's basically if uh you watch the rust streams of anybody who has rust drops enabled you can unlock these so generics you do not have to watch the specific streamer whereas the other skins you do so yeah, that's just kind of how that goes right there. So yeah, we've got the rigor off bear skin. So, you know, we'll take a little crawl around it, take a look at it there. Nice. All right, and then our other one is going to be Sinks MP5. So there we go. That is the Snowballers MP5 as it was named. I'm pretty sure this is gonna say Sinks MP5 because, uh, you know, Rusto is kind of shortens the names. Uh, and uh, yeah, there we go. It's got this nice kind of like blue digital camo thing going on And then you've got the little sinks on the side there with his logo and then aiming down the sides here You've got uh, a little bit altered sights with a yellow tip to kind of help you focus on in Go ahead and do that reload and like I said, you can watch three hours of any rust streamer with drops enabled to unlock Each of these drops three hours for the rug three hours for this so in total it's going to be another six hours to get these all right so let's get into the streamer specific drops and streamer specific drops like i said you're going to have to watch that specific streamer for the specified amount of time so once that is done then you can unlock their specific skin the nice thing is you can also work at a generic drop at the same time which we'll cover more at the end of the video so we're going to go ahead and jump through the clothing items here and our first one here is a burlap head wrap. This is the Wilniff burlap head wrap. And as you can see, it kind of has this cool like uh, squid tentacle tribal design thing going on, which is uh, quite cool. And then on the back here, you've got an all seeing eye and a few other little symbols going on. And there you go. Next, we've got burlap shirt, which matches along with the head wrap we just looked at. And this is CYR or Sir's burlap shirt and uh, yeah there you go guys uh, it's got the same kind of like tribal squid tentacle thing going on repeat symbol there and we've got the symbol on the back again so definitely kind of cool to see two streamers kind of collab to make a uh, part of a set which is quite different lastly we've got a metal chess piece for you and this one is M uh, Nimbold I, I think Nimble is how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm butchering people's names. Uh, if you ever wanted an ugly sweater uh, chess piece, this is definitely going to be it for you. So there it is. Definitely got to love the hilarious look of that. All right. And so our first streamer specific deployable is going to be this racing sleeping bag by Ludwig. Yeah. Look at this thing. It's a little race car bed sleeping bag. I mean, you got to love this. I love the details put into it, and of course the sleeping bag has a little license plate, which is the streamer name. Definitely like that. Nice little raised pillow added and everything. Very creative and a uh, cool little bag for sure. Then we've got one more thing for you. Of course, a drop can't be complete without a garage door with somebody on it. We've got a Pokemane garage door for you, and uh, yeah, Pokemane and a lollipop and a garage door. And I mean, that's about it. Uh, this one, this time, does not glow. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And next up, we've got a hammer for you. And this one looks like a tasty treat. This is the Arasaki hammer. And uh, Arisaki, sorry, I believe. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's got a waffle cone uh, handle and uh, the whole thing. Just uh, look at those strawberries. Just looks delicious. Next, we've got another hammer, and this one is a little more on the frosty side. This is the Void Boy hammer, and uh, yeah, this thing is all sorts of icy and steely. It's uh, some steely ice, guys. Boom. 
definitely very fancy and uh, I can see a lot of people liking this one for the fact that it just kind of fits in you know next we've got a knife for you and uh, it is literally just like a blue knife this one here is train wreck tv combat uh train wreck tv's combat knife man i cannot speak today so there you got it uh pretty much just a uh, blue blade all right next up we've got a sar for you this is xqc sar and it has this absolutely beautiful uh like night skyscape across it and unfortunately, compression in the uh, workshop kind of, you know, brings the quality of that down. And then the compression in my video from YouTube is going to bring it down even more. So it might look a little kind of weird in to you in video. But honestly, I think it looks a lot better in game. And honestly, in the workshop, it looks even better. But hey, you know, that's just how that kind of thing works. But uh, yeah, aiming down the sights here. You can see there's this beautiful like globe staring back at you and kind of like a white painted tip there and uh yeah you just got this nice scape on the side and of course everyone's gonna wonder well is this a glowing skin and it is there you go and on the back you can see the world lights up but not the sights themselves no glow sight there and uh there you have it guys Next up, we've got an AK for you, and this one here is for Myth, and this thing is all skeleton, bony looking. This is, uh, God, well, no, no that's just the name. It's just Myth's AK, so never mind, I thought I had some kind of clever name, but it doesn't. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, really cool looking. Uh, this is definitely something I'd see selling really well on Halloween, so I can see a lot of people liking this one. And, uh, yeah, there's not too many, like, skeleton-like stuff. We usually have skulls, but not the full thing, you know? Definitely a unique look. Aiming down the sights here, you've got a black tip against kind of like the fading metal there and a crossbones on the back of the gun as well as on the little bolt right there. Do a reload for you. And, all right, let's check out the next ones. Next, we've got the next AK in line for you and this is Sky Kunos, yeah. So, we've got the sky kunu or sky kunu sorry <laughs> sky sky kunu and uh yeah it's got a little shrimpy right up there and then you can see it's pretty much just skies skies of blue aim down the sides here you've got a uh, little uh, star and then a red tip between the blue sides to kind of help you focus on and there it is Definitely not, it's kind of like peaceful blue color to it. Next up, we've got another AK. And this one here has a very kind of like uh, comic book look to it. You can see it kind of has like the cell shading to give that comic vibe. And then we've, of course, got a little uh, kind of like art there at the end. And this is Sony's AK-47. So there you got it. I believe that art is from one of Sony's other projects. There are Sonny's other products. So there you go, is that. Pop that reload. Aiming down the sights, you've got kind of uh, that faded metal with a little bit of paint left and a yellow tip to help you focus in. And not too much going on at the back of the AK there though. And that does it guys. So yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, we will tune in to this last part here, showing you all of the uh, ways and things you need to do. And if you get stuck or need any help with that, so tune in for that. Otherwise, if you're just here to see the skins, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and have fun getting the drops. All right, guys. So you're going to start by going to the Twitch drops page, which is linked down in my description below if you don't already have it pulled up. And uh, it's going to take you to here. And if you are brand new, you're going to have to sign in with your Steam account. This has to be the Steam account that you own Rust on and want the skins on. That's very important. And then you want to sign in with your Twitch, and the Twitch is going to need to be the Twitch that you're going to be watching the streams with. That should be pretty straightforward. Now, I've already done the Steam sign-in, so I don't need to do that. But, uh, uh, you know, again, you just click here, and it's going to bring you to the Steam sign-in window. All right, so then once you're done through Steam, you're going to click sign in, and it will either ask you to, uh, you know, sign in your stuff. Then it'll ask if you can authorize, blah, 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 and you just say yes. 
and it will pop up with drops activated and you should be good to go. Now, what you wanna do is kinda of look at a few things here. So we have a couple buttons that pop up. You've got log out, unlink, and check for missing drops. So log out's pretty straightforward. Unlink is gonna be useful. Now, some people will get the error saying that you're already linked to a account. If that's what you're getting, you're gonna to need to find out which account that is, either your Steam or Twitch, log in the way I just showed you, and then hit unlink. Once that's done, you can then sign in with the proper account and link it properly, okay? So this is where that unlink button is when you're looking for it. Also, there's the check for missing drops button, which we'll get back to here in a minute, okay? So let's go ahead and kind of go through the basic FAQ. And uh, the main thing here is what are the different kinds of drops? And I kind of explained that briefly already, but you've got the generic drop. Generic drops are drops you have to watch for a set amount of time, but you don't have to watch a set streamer. You can watch any streamer that has drops enabled. So technically you could make progress towards uh, two streamers at once, so to say. One of the generic drops and then one of the specific drops. So that's kind of how that works right there. And then there are the specific drops, which are, you know, you have to watch that specific streamer. Pretty straightforward there, okay? Now, those will all be posted on this page once it has been updated for the drops. So it's really easy, you just click on them and you're ready to go. Now, is there a way to check your progress? Yes, there is. So we'll go ahead and show that. You can literally just click here or when you're at your Twitch, go to your Twitch inventory. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, and so it will take you here to your inventory. And as you'll see, uh, you know, this is from the last campaign. And well, <laughs> actually this could be a couple campaigns further ago because I'll probably keep using this. So as you can see, this is from the July 2021 campaign and uh, it'll start to show your progress here. So as you can see, I'm earning towards the generic drops, which were these two and one streamer right here. And it shows the progress on both and how long you're gonna have to work at it. Once this is done, the bar will be full and it will say claim. And until you claim, the next one in its progress won't start. So you'll see this one here will not start until this one has been claimed. And once you finish this, you're gonna have to watch another streamer to start on theirs or else you won't be making progress towards anything. So yeah, that's generally how that's gonna work right there. All right, now that we're back on it uh, with this, the next thing's gonna be, can you earn drops faster and by opening more windows, logging into multiple accounts, blah, blah, blah. No, that doesn't work. You can, the best you can do is earn a generic drop and a specific drop at the same time. Once you have finished the both or all of the generic drops, you can only work on one specific streamer at a time. Opening another window isn't gonna help you with that. Now, if a streamer logs off halfway and you only have them partially finished, you can then move on to a different streamer that is online. Sometimes it can take up to five minutes to show you're making progress, but don't worry, you will. And usually it doesn't start at zero. You'll notice it pops up right away at two to 5% or something like that. Because like I said, it can take a little while to realize you switch people. But as long as the one you're watching is offline and no longer streaming Rust, you can switch to another person that is and work on them. Now, how long does it take for the drops to show up in your inventory? Again, this can take up to 10 minutes for them to show up after you've claimed them on Twitch. But if you didn't go ahead and claim them on Twitch, make sure you do, because there's no other way to do that. So once you've hit claimed, it can take up to 10 minutes to show up in your Steam inventory. If for some reason it isn't, you can come back here and click this check for missing drops button, and it will try to send them to you. For me, whenever I've done this, it usually works instantly. Again, there's gonna be lots of people doing this at once. It could take some time, all right? And then, do you need anything special? All you need is a Twitch account, a Steam account, and you need to own Rust. If you have Twitch Prime or whatever, that's fine, but you don't need it. No Twitch Prime required, no extra fees or other things. You just need a Twitch account, Steam account, and Rust. Now, if you no longer know which one is linked or whatever, I already covered that, so we can skip it. And then if you don't own Rust, is there a way you can still earn them? And yes, there is. What you do is you claim them on Twitch, but you never send them over to Steam. As soon as you now own Rust, you come back to this page anytime. It will always be here. You can log in and click check for missing drops. Once you've clicked this guy, it should then drop them all from your Twitch into you, your Steam inventory, now noticing that Rust is there. So yeah, that's basically kind of the stuff right there that works with it. And uh, if you are having a problem where it's not switching to another streamer, one thing you can do is clear your internet browser cache, 
close your all your windows, reopen and try again. That has always worked for most people as well. Just kind of another little tip with that. But that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Twitch drops out there. Have fun getting them and stay rusty.